Six years ago, the deadly West plant explosion killed 15 people, injured more than 200. And last summer, the city had hoped to unveil a memorial honoring those who died, but some setbacks kept that from happening. Yeah, Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell spent the afternoon in West for us today and explains what the dedication of the Fallen Heroes Memorial Park Monument will mean to the city still recovering from that deadly, terrible day. Chris and Leslie, I was told that the emotional part of what happened that day still lingers on, and there's hope that this monument behind me will forever remind people of those individuals who rushed into danger. Joe Pachowski's home was lost in an instant the day the deadly West explosion happened. And to make things even worse, Pachowski lost his son, Joey, who was a volunteer firefighter and one of the 15 people killed. Pachowski thinks about that day a lot. To honor those who lost their lives, Pachowski was appointed to sit on a committee responsible for the planning and development of the Fallen Heroes Memorial Park. The dedication was supposed to happen last summer, but was pushed back. We all wanted it to be perfectly right, and I think uh, I think we have, have accomplished that. I think uh, everyone is going to be pleasantly surprised at uh, and what they're going to see that day. On April 13th, an unveiling ceremony will take place at this memorial site, which sits about 100 yards from where the West explosion happened. Pachowski hopes people will forever remember the brave actions first responders took that day. The dedication of the Fallen Heroes Memorial Park will happen on Saturday, April 13th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Reporting in West, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.